Okay, thank you very much. Um, just um, in context, um, uh, I'm a psychologist and I study online dating from a kind of research point of view. Um, anyway, okay. <laughs> off you go. Um, I met a lady uh, online dating once and I said, where do you want to go tonight? And she said, oh, let's go for a meal. Next night I said, where do you want to go? She said, let's go for a meal. This happened another two nights. And on the fifth night, they said, where do you want to go tonight? And she said, oh, let's go and see that new movie about Bruce Wayne and Kate Crusader. And I thought, this is just dinner, 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 Batman. So, <laughs> okay. um, dating sites, many dating sites, glutenfreesingles.com, would you believe? Uniform dating, Bristler, if you like people with beards, and believe it or not, uglybugsball.com, if you're ugly, you can use that one. So lots of different ones. So which what website or app should you use? Um, no real evidence that these which use um, your matching algorithms actually work. So you're probably just better off using Tinder, put a few pictures of yourself up, and about 10 years out of date, and you'll be fine. Okay? Um, so that's the kind of thing to use. The thing we know in psychology, in terms of attraction, is that it's Similarity and familiarity are important. So if you use a dating site uh, which caters for shared interests kind of thing, then that's going to get you more success probably than anything else. Um, so once you've established that, you've got to set up your profile. There's a shop in Cardiff which is uh, open which sells husbands, and on the first floor there are husbands who are amazingly attractive. Um, females go in the shop to buy a husband. On the second floor there are husbands who are amazingly attractive and you have money and resources. Females think, wow, I think I'll go up to the next floor of the shop. On the next floor there are husbands who are amazingly attractive, have money and resources, and who like children. Females think, fantastic. I think I'll go up to the next floor. And they go up to the next floor, and on the next floor it says, there are no husbands on this floor. This floor is merely to demonstrate females are never satisfied. So, uh, <laughs> sorry to be sexist, across the road is a shop which sells wives. Uh, guys go into the shop to buy a wife. On the first floor it says, these wives like sex, and no man's ever gone past the first floor. Uh, so, that kind of tells us what you should write really in, in, your, um, in your sort of uh, profile, if you like. Um, anyway, when you write in your profile, you have to avoid cliches like plague. Um, don't say things like, I like walks along the beach, I like night scene with a glass of wine, all that kind of thing, because that's just saying you're human, you know, because we all can like that. Think of something original to put in your profile picture. Um, when you've viewed someone else's profile, you have to make a decision about, you know, so there are lots of people in online dating, it looks like there's masses of people out there. When you go out for a night, you might meet one person, if you're lucky, I do, if I'm, you know, if I'm lucky, I meet one person, you know, every couple of months. So. Um, um, and what you have to do is avoid an assessment mindset, keep an open mind, don't go into online dating with a shopping list, you know, just be open-minded, try to imagine the type of person you have a good time with, rather than just, you know, having a list of, um, you know, things you, you require. And also, don't give up, okay, because online dating does take a long time, it does take a bit of effort, you're not just going to go in there and think, oh, well, I think, you know, I split off my boyfriend and girlfriend, I'll go into online dating and get a new one. Well, it's not like going to a garage and getting a car, it does take time. Um, you know, maybe about six hours a week apparently. Um, anyway, once you've done that, you've got to chat with people. Um, we know that you know people disclose more, say more about themselves in online dating and online interaction than they do face to face, which is called hyperpersonal communication, which leads to more liking than you might get face to face. Um, you might want to spend some lines, such as I got this one here. Uh, are you Jamaican? Because Jamaican me crazy. Um, is your name Google? Because you have everything I'm searching for. All that kind of stuff. You know, did you hurt your knees when you fell from heaven? Blah blah blah. blah. All that. Kind of, I got a, I got a million of the money. See me later. Um, what's important as well is that you uh, is, is humour. Okay, um, you know, it's up the guys to produce humour, up to females to laugh. So it's up the guys to sort of do the sort of uh, do the work, and females to go, oh, you're so funny, that kind of thing. So that's the way it kind of works in in, in interaction. If you look at males and females in in a bar, in you know, mixed added interactions, it's the amount of laughter produced by the female, not the amount of laughter produced by the male, which is more predictive of sexual interest. So if if you watch them together, if uh, she's laughing, it's going great. If he's laughing, then it's not going to happen, okay? Um, <laughs> the reason for this is that, you know, humour, creative humour in males is indicative of good genes. If you've got good genes, uh, then you're kind of healthy, you're intelligent, and if you're that, then females want to have sex with you and, and have your babies. Okay, then you're going to meet, right? Um, if you're going to meet someone from online dating, you've got to meet them in a timely fashion. You don't want a pen friend, do you? You want to meet somebody and, you know, you know cut the chase very quickly. You want to be chatting with them, you know, online for ages and ages. You've got to meet them. Um, secondly, when you meet them, have some conversation. So you're not going to go meet somebody and think, hmm, I don't know what we talk about now. You've got to have some conversation. Take a few bits of conversation with you. Six or seven bits of conversation you can resort to if you get a little bit stuck. Next thing, when it comes, there we go. Don't interrogate or interview people. Um, I had an ex-girlfriend whose mother, when I went to the house, said to me things like, how much did it cost to cross the Seven Bridge? 
How far away is London? What's the main industry in Cardiff? Uh, insurance? It was like a bloody multiple choice test. It wasn't, you know, it was an interrogation interview. And finally, for guys, be decisive, okay? So you have to kind of say things like, hey babe, I'm taking you to that great Guatemalan restaurant tonight. What do you think? You know, do, do that. Be positive. Don't go, oh, where do you want to go? Be positive and uh, do it that way. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so if you want to give me a follow on Twitter, that's me.